Hello and welcome to our Reflections for Wednesday. I want to uh, just share with you one of the things that we got up to at the Superintendent's Conference at Blackpool last week. Um, we had a look at something which you hopefully are familiar with. Let me just hold it up to the camera. Uh, it's a Methodist way of life. We looked at the various sections based as it is on our calling, the fundamental sort of um, final word as it were on what we should be doing under the four headings worship, learning and caring, serving in the community, evangelizing and encouraging other people to become followers of Jesus and we spend some time thinking about our circuits and about the churches that we serve and about our own lives and saying where is the gap what aren't we doing there's some things that we're really good at and there's some things that we perhaps put on one side and we can't do everything of course we can't but are we the weaker and the less um, fruitful because we are avoiding some aspects of what it means to be a Methodist people and it took some time and and we were challenged by it and inevitably um, it was the uh, ones about serving in the community and about making other people followers of Jesus uh, that always scored the lowest and Trey Hall, the uh, uh, leader of the um, uh, growth and evangelism team in the Methodist Church headquarters, said that they'd done some um, audits of this around the Methodist connection. And there was no instance in any place where evangelism, making other people followers of Jesus or encouraging them to do so, came anything other than fourth out of four. So it is that we come today to the reading which is called the Great Commission. It's the end of Matthew's Gospel, Matthew 28. And it's where Jesus says, as you go, make disciples. And encourages them that he will be with them every step of the way till the end of the age, he says. The Great Commission. Dallas Willard, an American theologian, theologian coined the phrase the great omission you know in revelation 21 where there's that image of there will be no longer any sea well unfortunately uh, in many of our churches the sea has already gone from the great commission and it becomes the great omission in fact the second in my trilogy of novels it's called, as you will see, Brendan and the Great Omission. Where Brendan, the central character in those three novels, the Methodist minister becomes disenchanted with the way in which we, we keep failing to address this great commission that we should encourage other people to make um, statements of, of, commission, of commitment and, and faith. Uh, to become followers of Jesus. Unfortunately, a lot of the time we've we've either lost interest in that or we've lost confidence in that. Or we've lost the ability to do that. So I wonder as you think through those four aspects of our calling, worship, learning and caring, serving in the community, and making other people, encouraging other people to become followers of Jesus. Which of these are we least competent at or interested in? And what are we going to do about it in the light of the Great Commission that we're supposed to centre ourselves on every day, but particularly today with the reading from Matthew 28? May God bless you in your wrestling with that question. And may God bless you as you seek to address that which you find.